Good morning and welcome to Lawton. So we're at the crafty camp out again and uh, a few of us turned up on Thursday night. I think there's about nine of us here already. So it's been pretty good so far. We all had a good catch up and a chat and uh, some of them are off for a walk up the fells. We'll spend most of today just meeting and greeting people and setting up. So what is the Crafty Camp about? Why did it come about and how did it start? Well, basically, um, from the YouTube channel, we, we also had a Facebook group. And that Facebook group <coughs> was basically to promote my channel. But it became apparent quite early on that that was not what it had turned into. It turned into a little community of its own. So we changed the name to the Crafty Blinders van builds and um, and that was to celebrate and promote everybody else's builds, ideas, bits of kit, um, ideas we'd found, locations we'd found and uh, it wasn't there for self-promotion anymore and that community has now grown to what, over two and a half thousand people. We decided to make the group private because the dynamic of the group was so good, so friendly and so positive and uh, off the back of that, we started getting quite a few requests from people just saying, you know, where can we see you, where can we meet up? And the festivals are nice, don't get me wrong, but they're very busy for us because we, we used to go and show the van. We don't really do a lot of that anymore. We do talks if people wanted us to, to do a talk. Um, but we, we like these social events and that's what a crafty camp out is it's a social event for people to come together that have one common thing there's a common theme runs right through all this we're all owners of self-converted vehicles some of us um, some of the people even have caravans we have people with rooftop tents that come but it's just a lovely lovely community and We've gone from doing this once a year to three times a year now, and the demand for this event is is brilliant because we fill it every time. We have people coming from the north of Scotland, the south of England, and we have Volker, who's come three times now from Germany. And I just think that's amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm still blown away by it. Every time we hold one of these events, um, the people that make the effort to come and join in and take part and share ideas it's just it, it does it, it it makes me feel good it really does make me feel good and that's what this is all about it's all about feeling good now in the middle of all of us <laughs> there are some residents that live on this park 11 months of the year and they embrace what we do as well they love it we're all a friendly bunch um there is no we don't tolerate dickheads if there's somebody in the group um, post some comments, we'll give them a polite reminder of the group rules um, if they persist or if they post shitty comments or re repost things that we're not happy with we'll, we'll ask them to you know, to leave the group or, or moderate what they're doing and it works, the dynamic of the group is really good, really friendly, really positive and that's what we want to keep, we want to keep this little Facebook group as good as it has been and make it better if that's possible so I was talking to a guy recently and he basically said to me as you get older in life your friends fall by the wayside you lose touch with people and people pass away and your circle of friends becomes less and less and less and that to me was like that didn't reflect my life and it doesn't reflect a lot of the people that come here because so one thing I've noticed about the van life community is you find friends wherever you go you have a focal point your vehicle people will come and talk to you about your vehicle you'll go and approach people about theirs you'll see something on the van you'll be like oh I wonder what that is and you go over and you strike up a conversation and from that friendships develop so I had to disagree with his comment I'm getting older and I'm making more friends than I've ever made in my life and it's humbling, it is humbling 
And it's not just because we do YouTube, it's not just because we organise these events. We go to places and people don't know us and we start talking about each other's vans and friendships develop. And if I would say one thing to anybody, if you're sitting on the fringes, if you're wondering, should I join that group? Should I buy a van? Am I going to be accepted? Am I going to like it? You never know until you try it. And I would definitely, definitely recommend trying it. Join a group, a Facebook group, or... Um, yeah, join a Facebook group and basically ask questions. Um, be careful about the groups that you do join. What you'll find with the really big groups is uh, there's a lot of keyboard warriors and a lot of these groups know it's a problem but they don't do anything to resolve that issue they, it's just the beast is too big so I have um, a handful of moderators that I trust and admins that I trust and they keep our group really sweet really nice there's I don't think I've seen any horrible comments in there or if we have had any issues we try and deal with it pretty much straight away if you're asking a question and one of the people asks you to provide some information help them out we're trying to help you out we're not doing it we're not getting paid to do this we do this out of the goodness of our hearts and uh, I've had a couple of people come back to me and complain about how the moderators have treated them but when I've read the comments and I've read the the conversation they were well within the rights at the end of the day People are asking technical questions without giving technical information. Um, we don't know your system, we don't know your vehicle. So please don't think that the questions that we're asking are to be awkward. It's to get a better understanding of your vehicle, your systems and the problem you're encountering. So it's a two way street. And let's remember one thing, texting, and it happens in emails as well. People read things different ways. So just bear that in mind and you'll have a better experience on our group, on other groups. But yeah, if you're sitting on the sideline, come to one of these events. We've invited people down today that are um, considering buying a van to convert, uh, really interested in it. And they joined the group to find out more information and you come to one of these events, we'll show you 30 different setups. Every setup here is unique. Everyone is different to every other. There is no one design fits all. We all have different requirements. We all have different needs for all vans. But yeah, I love this event. This is in my backyard. There really isn't a scene where we live, um, a van life scene. Lots of people come to the lakes, lots of people come here and visit the lakes and enjoy the lakes, but there was nobody promoting van life itself. So we started this here in Lawton and we have villagers coming in that say hello, look round the vans, come through, join in, have a, have a drink with us as they're walking home from the pub. The guys in the pub absolutely love it. The residents, the van owners, the static caravan owners, they love it. They compliment us every time when they come. They're like, it's lovely to see the site full. It's lovely to see people having a good time. And we try and respect their privacy and their, their, their needs as well. But it is a great site. Look around you. You're surrounded by fells, forests. <coughs> Excuse me. On the top there, we have Winlatton Forest. Down there, we have three lakes. We have Crummock. And if you turn, I'm just saying, I'm going to say this. If you turn right, you will find Lowe's Water, but if you carry on past Crummock, you've got Buttermere, and then that takes you up over Honister Pass into uh, Seatola and Borrowdale Valley and all them lovely areas as well. And then you're on to Derwent Lake Derwent Water. Lake Derwent Water. You're on to Derwent Water. Here's a fact for you. There is only one lake in the Lake District, and it is Bath and Swate Lake. All the rest are mirrors and waters. So if you're ever in a pub quiz and that question comes up, that's the answer. Bath and Swate Lake. 
Hopefully the weather's going to hold off. Oh, last night was amazing. The northern lights here were epic, absolutely epic. Um, we had a, a show all to ourselves. Well, I think quite a lot of people over the country saw it as well, but it was really good, really enjoyable. So yeah, this is the Crafty Campo. This is what it is. It's just a group of like-minded people meeting, coming together and sharing a few beers, food and having a good crack and a catch up because we're all friends from all over the country, all over Europe. There'll be new people here today, people that have never been to this event before. And uh, I believe they'll have and will be made to feel welcome by everybody and they'll have a good time. So if you're ever on the sideline, like I said, and you don't know whether to dip your toe in, just go for it. Just go for it, you'll love it. That's pointed towards you. No, it's pointed towards you. You're rough and ready. Cold. Ready. <laughs> Come on, mate. I'm going to need a hug tonight, I think. No, I've got no eating in there. No eating? I, I, my night eater's got the um, thermostat's gone on it. Oh. So I had a little camping thing. I've got that now. I've, got, a, too long. I've, I've got, got another got, controller got you can plug in. And I've got the, it's the cable. You know you have to take the plastic case in Yeah, yeah. And then put the thickness that. Right. Under my worktop. Oh, those are spots. Those spots. Volker, would you like to introduce yourself? Good morning, I'm Volker, I come from Germany. I'm the, uh, um, I'm the currywurst and uh, cheesecake liquor man. <laughs> and this is Lawrence, you might remember Lawrence, from no, Van Vaz. <laughs> <laughs> That's <I> Lawrence. <laughs> so yeah, we are a friendly, friendly bunch. That's Paul, we just met Paul. He's uh, running an event down in Worthing next summer. Lawrence runs an event on the south coast as well at Red Hill. Outward, yeah. So that's Van Vibes. <laughs> lovely festival, lovely grounds. Um, it rained last. This event, ra it rained for three days, and there was no mud. There was no mud. It was a brilliant venue. Friendly farmer as well. He enjoyed the event. Got involved. It was a great event. So next year, one for your calendar. We don't get many of these at our van meets. That is beautiful. Where the shadows play Sam's crafty camp now keeps the cold at bay We gather round as the stories unfold Lakeside magic in the night pure gold Nature whispers let the memories flow The northern lights they dance in the sky With a chill in the air as the fire burns high Sam's crafty camp about the friendships at night We'll cherish the Long into the night We laughing loud as the embers glow Jay shares a tale from long ago It's a Thursday night with a crew so tight In this lakeside haven everything feels right Moments like these are forever to know the northern lights, they dance in the sky With a chill in the air as the fire burns high Sam's crafty camp about the friendships at night We'll cherish this magic long into the night And moments like these are forever to know The northern lights, they dance in the sky With a chill in the air as the fire burns high Sam's crafty camp about the friendships at night Cherish this magic long into the night So here's to the nights where we all belong Sam's crafty camp, oh, let's keep it strong Look right here, right, just so you all know um, Charity will raise money for his midwife's good life um, What? <laughs> what you? Yeah. 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 So a charity that's really close to me, I lost my brother as a result, five of the night, he went on to help five of the people. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need no work. Yeah. 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 So every year we're going to try and raise a little bit of money for him. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> yeah. Well, Amazon sends me shit. I get to test it. I get to write a little review. And uh, then Amazon is uh, gracious enough to let me keep the Chinese stuff. Right. So, uh, um, as I have uh, uh, heard about the, uh, the charity that, uh, that Sam was uh, donating to, and uh, I have stuff at home uh, that I have plenty of, and so uh, I brought it along with me and uh, you know, like there's a little shower head, there's a little faucet, there's a couple of lights. And this wonderful gazebo here. Yay. Yay. Everybody, everybody has already enjoyed this during this foul weather we've been having. Yeah. But uh, I'm glad all of you could come and all of you have donated for the cause and bought tickets. And uh, thank you very much. So this, this weekend we've actually raised 480 pounds. Wow. wow. And we've actually Prior to that, we've raised another two, 160. 160. Wow. Yeah. So, Brilliant. A decent well amount, and it's well going to be well appreciated. I'm sure of that. So, to keep everything above board, I'm going to ask you guys to do the draw. Oh, here we go. What if we pull our own out? Well, well, if you pull your own out, <laughs> you have to put it back. <laughs> I'm going to go first. I've got a couple of weeks for that one. <laughs> So Volker is going to pick up the prize that we're, we're looking for now. Yes, the uh, winner. The first and the winner prize is Volker. Is... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not playing again. Are we? <laughs> I just, I just bought tickets for the cars, and yeah. I don't want to take back my. Old and the next winner is Volker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even read that. Paul J. Paul Jenkins. Congratulations! You see the drink of You actually have to hook up water to use it though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. We were going to do it, a bit of a check on you, but we thought if you're dead, if you're dead, we'll leave you till tomorrow. And then you've got, you've got money for your weekend, don't you? You've got value for money. For you. <laughs> Don't pull both of them. Are they in Braille? They're coming in. Are they on the top? Oh, Tim. 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 Hey, hey. Some underlights, man. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you. LED motion sensory, sensing lights. And uh, you're going to love these. The Thank you very much. I've got loads in the van. If you could do the next yeah. one, I'll Sarah would like to do the next one. The I'll do the next one. Look at it. Stew. Which one? Stew, Stew K. Stew K. Uh, Stew Kendall. Stew Kendall. Stew Kendall. Stew Kendall. Stew Kendall. <laughs> Anywhere? It's it's still in the shot, son. It's still, still in the pub, so we know, in the pub. We know it's Stu. Oh, Stu's here. Yeah. So, Stu won the first faucet for uh, the kitchen. Oh. 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 Awesome. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> so, I'm so much better at faucet. Oh. 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 Come on, Kenny, you dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. Still a bit mad! Right. Can you read it? <laughs> so this is an OBD reader, but it only does Mercedes and Volkswagen. Can't read, oh, read it. Craig and Gail. 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 Craig Right, so it's a big one. No, sorry, sorry. It's now about the gazebo. How about the gazebo? Please remember, if you win the gazebo, you're going to be able to take it down. I will help, but uh, this is a two-person job, and uh, there's a uh, there's a bag for this. Yeah. There's also walls for this, so the, this is a complete enclosure. It's a it's a yeah. Yeah, but uh, again, whoever wins this gets to take this down with me. Right, we need a steward, because Stuart Kendall isn't here, we need another steward. There's two here. Come in a bit, 
It's me. Is it you? For the gazebo. Oh. Graham B. Yay! Yay! Yay. Where's Graham? Still in the pool? <laughs> Graham B. Graham B. Graham B. Oh, no, Graham's. Graham's Stuart's mate. Graham Stuart's mate. Oh, they're the pub eating. Yeah. 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 So he's so taking that down. Thanks for coming. <laughs> wow! <laughs> right, right. Should we have the other steward do this one? Yeah. Come on, mate. It's a minute. Just remember, if you royalty is wearing his pants. You draw your own name. You've got to put that. I've got a projector. I don't want one. <laughs> right. Can I do it? Or do you want to do it? I'll let you do it. You do it. You do it. Lisa. Yeah! Yeah! That says Philip Wren. We've made the Massive. most of it. Wet all on the inside now, so <laughs> let's get the fire cranked up and get some food on, I think. The pub. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank you both for the prizes. <laughs> all wave. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is what it's all about, community. Every one of these people has travelled to come and see and meet up with old friends and new friends and uh, it's good crack, really good crack. Well, the site has recovered well. It did get a little bit muddy on Sunday when everybody was leaving, that was because of the rain on the Friday, uh, sorry, on the Saturday. Great weekend, really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed our little insight to why we do the crafty campouts and the people that attend and you know the community that we've built up over the last couple of years. We thoroughly enjoy it. This is a wrap for 2024. No more campouts at uh, Lawton for us this year, but we will be back next year and we're going further afield. Just keep an eye out. We're going to do some crafty camp out up and down the country as well. So hopefully, if you can't make it to one of these, because it is a bit of a trek up to the lakes, you might want to come and join us at one of the ones down south. And if you are still sitting on the fringe, whether, wondering whether to do this or not, honest to God, just do it, just go for it. You will not regret it. You saw the amount of people that were here this weekend. All of them were strangers at one time. I know how we're all good friends. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care. Why not head over and check out our new website, www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group, The Crafty Blinder Van Builds. Thanks for watching.